Hi, my name is Charlie from Cadet.net, and today we're demonstrating ProjectCam. ProjectCam is a new software that we've designed to bridge ProjectCAD Professional and Dolphin CAD Cam. And now, after you've downloaded and installed it, we need to configure a couple of things before we can start using ProjectCam. Firstly, if we go to the Tools, and then go to Customize Toolbar, and hit the Customize button here. We need to import the MNU file, um, which will appear as a toolbar for you inside ProjectCAD. Okay, so that's located in the ProjectCAD directory under Program Files, ProjectSoft, and then ProjectCAD. So we'll go ahead and select the uh, MNU file. Okay. Um, if it doesn't appear on the screen, all you have to do is right click, and you should see the ProjectCAD toolbar. And there it is on the screen. So. Before we start working with ProjectCam, we need to set some options. Uh, firstly, we need to set the Dolphin directory, a temporary directory, and also we've got a notepad and explode block. So, uh, the Dolphin directory you need to specify as a Dolph uh, the directory that contains Dolphin CAD CAM, and by default, you'll see it is this directory here. However, if you've specified a different directory in your installation, you need to point it to it at this point. Otherwise, ProjectCam uh, will not work correctly. Also, a temp temporary directory to um, store any temporary files it may use during the processing, and uh, a text viewer for a, a later application. Okay, so once you've done that, you just hit OK and it will save your settings. Now that we've finished the setup and configuration, we're ready to start working. So we'll show you two examples, the first one being a very simple example of how the whole process works, so you can understand how exactly it is it goes from design to machining. So first off, let's start with a couple of simple shapes, something that we can send across to be machined without any hassle. All right, nothing too complicated there. Now you'll notice here on the top left hand side is the ProjectCam toolbar and depending on which type of machine you have will be which option you use. We have support for milling machines, lathes and wire EDMs. So for this example we'll be milling out these shapes. Alright, it now asks you to select the entities that you'd like to machine. So we'll select these two here and press the enter button. The next option here is the preprocessor. Now we'll run through the preprocessor option in the second example, but just a quick explanation, the preprocessor is there to handle anything that or any entities rather that Dolphin Cam interprets differently to your usual CAD program. Okay, so for this we'll just say no. And you can see our drawing has come through. So we're now ready to start machining and the first thing we're going to do is apply a couple of toolpaths onto um, our drawing just so you can see how quick and easy it really is. Okay, so let's say we want to do a cutout around the edge of that rectangle. We'd go into contouring, we'd select a custom or user-defined shape. Okay, what we want is contour 1, which is the outside contour, and here we can define all our tool settings and also our cut settings. Once you're happy with that, just press OK, and as you can see, it's applied a cutout around the outside of the rectangle. Now let's say we want to uh, create a pocket, um, or an uh, area clearance, I should say, um, and we want to clear out that pentagon shape. So again, we go into pocket shape, user defined. And this time we'll select the pentagon, and again any um, tooling and um, depth settings that you'd like to set. And there we go. So if we hit the green button, here, it'll show us our toolpath. That's it. Very quick, very simple, and very easy. So now we'll move to the second example. The second example is to do with special entities and their processing before they get to the cam side of Dolphin. Alright, so first of all, let's go back. Now the two special entities I'm referring to are blocks and splines. So first off, let's go ahead and create a, a block here uh, using these two shapes. So we'll merge them into one shape. I'll just quickly run through here. You've got some, um, you've got the selection, the base point, and then you can give it a name. So we'll call this hello. Okay, so now that's merged into one block named 
hello as you can see from my selection there. Um, just a quick side note before we go into um, the steps, in the option screen there is the explode blocks option and this is um, a blanket option uh, basically if you select a block it will explode it regardless of whether you know it or not so it's there as a safety blanket if you want all um, your blocks to be exploded before you send them across if not watch what happens when I select a mill here and I select this entity okay it's noted that it's a block and it needs to be exploded. Now if you say yes here it will explode the block, it will divide them back into two separate entities send them through the dolphin and you will do the machining like you did before. If you select no you can run through a preprocessor. Now the preprocessor is there specifically to handle these entities. Okay so if we hit yes it will load the cam side of dolphin, CAD side of dolphin. As you can see it's brought the shapes across as one block. Now what we need to do is apply a, a contour or a cutting path to them so that Dolphin Cam can understand. So that's under this NC option here. So firstly we select this one, okay, and then this one, and you'll notice they've gone grey, and that tells us that they're ready to be sent across to Dolphin Cam. So if we go to machining, milling module, and if we select that there, you can see that it's brought it through and same as before you can do the machining how you like um, so basically that runs us to the end of this project cam demonstration if you have any other questions or any queries you can always visit the CADET website at www.cadet.net